Hello and welcome to Kids Can Sunday School. I'm Eden. And I'm Sarah. And we're going to start with our memory verse today. And it is Psalm 145 verse 9. The Lord is good to everyone and everything. God's compassion extends to all his handiwork. Everyone and everything. Those two words remind me of another word. It's our faith word for the month. And our faith word is include. Include means to welcome all of God's children in God's love. That's right. And we're, we're going to get on to our passage. We're and, just digging right in today. Yeah, huh? we're going right in. And we are reading from Luke 13, verses 18 through 21. Yes, 21. Yep. If you guys want to read read with me. But before we go and read the passage, I want to ask you our first two wonder questions today. And the first one is, have you ever planted a seed or baked some bread? This bread is so good. It's so, it's so. Full disclosure, crazy. we did not bake this bread. Yeah. And technically we did not plant that seed. I know. Our neighbor gave us the plant and we bought the bread at the bakery. But you get the picture. So, yeah, and the bread looks really yummy. so the first question was, have you ever planted a seed or baked bread? What's the second wonder question? And the second wonder question is, what does it take for a tiny seed to grow into a big plant? Well, that's a good question. You gotta have some good soil. You gotta have some sunlight. You gotta, you gotta have water, some water that thing. It's and also gotta have some shade too. Oh, you got can't can't be too sunny. Yeah, that's right. So, Eden, where, what are you reading again today? I am reading from the Deep Blue Bible, and if anyone, if any of you want to read along, we are reading Luke thirteen verses eighteen through twenty one. Let's find it. Find the verse that's eighteen. Right. The growth of God's kingdom. Jesus asked, what is God's kingdom like? To what, to what can I compare it? It's like a mustard seed that someone took and planted in a garden. It grew and developed into a tree and, and the birds in the sky nested in its branches. Again, he said, to what can I compare God's kingdom? It's like yeast, which a woman took and hid in a bushel of wheat and flour until the yeast had worked its way through the hole. Thanks, Eve. You're so welcome. That did was you? Really yeah. Good. You're welcome. Like so, did you guys at home listen for the things that Eden said to listen for? I heard what two words hear? especially that two were said. My first wonder question: Ye bread, which is like yeast, yeast mm -hmm. in the bread, and a mustard seed, which is like a seed. We're going to have to take a technical difficulty break. Our dogs are growling at each other. We're going to pause right here for just yeah. a second. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Sometimes yeah. with the dogs, they just act a little crazy. So hopefully our littler dog is downstairs with Eden's dad. And hopefully we're not going to have any more problems. So yeah. um, sometimes when this happens, we just start over. But sometimes we just want to go with it because... We flow. tend to vibe in earlier, so we're just going to go with it. So, Eden read about God's kingdom. Have you ever wondered what God's kingdom's like? And if you did, were the first things that came to your mind a mustard seed and yeast? No. No, because when most people think about kingdom, they think about castles and kings and queens and, and fancy stuff. And when most people hear the word mustard... They aren't thinking about a seed. They're I thinking think about something bleh. to put on a hot dog. She's saying blah. But, <laughs> but a lot of people like to put mustard on their hot dogs. So they're not thinking about a seed. They're thinking mustard. That makes me want a hot dog. But one of the things about Jesus that we have to remember is that he didn't teach like regular religious teachers did of his time. When he was teaching about God's kingdom, he decided to use some word pictures and he picked these word pictures because they were things that everyone he was talking to could picture in their mind. So when he said mustard seed, everybody knew what a mustard seed looked like. And when he said yeast, everybody knew what yeast did. So 
these things are both two things that they all knew about. So first he talks about the mustard seed. He says the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. And then he later says in the Bible that we should have faith like a mustard seed. So he talks about mustard seeds more than one time when he's teaching people. But when you think, when we don't see mustard seeds a lot in our, in our day and age, but the mustard seed is one of the tiniest seeds. And when you plant it, it becomes very big. In fact, mustard seeds can grow into plants that are two times taller than me, more than two times taller oh than me, actually. Gosh. I'm five foot ten, roughly, and I read research that said mustard, se mustard seeds can grow into plants that are 12 feet tall. Big enough. I know. I know. That's what I, I didn't know they grew that tall. That's I thought like, they grew like six feet tall, but the research said they grow taller than that. I'm so, like four feet something and so, that's like three times three of you yeah good three math by the way mr jim would be giving you a shout out for that one um so he says that th this little seed grows into something so big that birds can hang out in it and birds can put their nests in it all from a little tiny tiny seed so it's not like a plant it's more like a tree right then he talks about how the kingdom of God is like yeast, a woman hid in some flour, and it worked its way through the whole thing of flour. If you've ever made bread, you know that you add cups, several cups of flour, but you only add a tiny littlest bit of yeast. But yeah. that tiniest little bit of yeast makes it makes the up. bread poof up. Because I've made rolls before. Yeah, Eden's made rolls before. And the it's rolls start this. out like a golf ball size, and by the time they're done, they're like this size, like a softball size. So you just need a little bit to make your dough be affected by it. So what does all this have to do with the kingdom of God or God's kingdom? The people that Jesus was speaking to were Jewish. And remember that Jewish people were God's chosen people, and they had been waiting and waiting and waiting for God to send this this king this promised king to save them and so they misunderstood what he meant they thought that god was going to send somebody to help them be free of the roman government the romans were in charge of the areas where the jewish people lived and they were kind of mean to them and so they were waiting for someone to come and rescue them from these roman people and they thought that god was going to send a king that would come and fight and be mighty and strong and do all these brave king things but god had a different kind of rescuing in mind and he sent a different kind of king he sent them jesus jesus came to save the people from something bigger than the romans he came to save them from all the stuff that gets between them and god another word for that is sin so jesus came and he was telling these people through this parable that their way was not necessarily God's way. God's way was different than how they thought. And he proved that in the king that he sent because he sent them Jesus. And Jesus didn't come riding on a big horse with swords ready to fight people. Jesus came as what, Eden? As a newborn baby. A newborn baby. Everybody probably would have been like, what's this newborn baby going to do? But that newborn baby did amazing things. He grew up and he made a way for us to get into a right relationship with God. So when Jesus was growing up, he, he was kind of quiet. The Bible doesn't say a lot about when Jesus was a kid, like your guys' age. But we read recently how Jesus got baptized. And he didn't come out and say, everyone, I'm here to get baptized. I'm the best. I'm the king. No, he just kind of came and hung He's out like with the people and got baptized with the people that were getting baptized too. And then we read and learned about how he picked some disciples. He started out with a small group of followers and without much warning, his kingdom grew and it began to grow as people got to know and trust Jesus. So the mustard seed and yeast have a lot in common with God's kingdom. And what what do they have in common with God's kingdom, Eden? It Eden? grows bigger every day. Yeah, it grows bigger every day. God's kingdom is built to grow and spread. Just like that seed grew into a giant plant 
and that yeast spread through all that flour. We can learn a lot from this. It can help us remember that we get to do our part to help God's kingdom grow. But what does that mean? What does that look like for us? The disciples, they started out and they started telling people about God's love for them. After Jesus left the earth, he went back to heaven. They started telling people, everyone around them, who Jesus was, how much he loved them, and all the things that Jesus did. And they did amazing things in Jesus' name. And guess what? The kingdom of God grew and spread. So today, guess who the disciples are? Us. Yeah. So we get to continue their work. We get to go out and share God's love with everyone and grow his kingdom. And that brings us to our last two lemon questions for this week. Can you think of other things that grow from something small into something big? Uh, I can think of one thing. I can think of how a little pine cone about the size of this can grow into a huge pine tree. Yeah, when you said pine cone, I thought about an acorn too, because an acorn yeah. starts out tiny and then grows into a huge tree. Um, what about you? <laughs> you started out little teeny tiny. And look at you, you're over four feet tall now, and you're not done growing. So that's something else that can grow. What did you guys come up with at home? We'd love to hear about it. And the last one question for today is, what do you think we need to do to help God's kingdom grow? I think we should let them tell us what they think yeah. instead of us telling them what we think this time. Yeah, and make sure you talk about these as the grown-ups. We would love to hear what you think. Share them on our Kids Camp Facebook page or email them to my mom at kishanet at pfemc.org. So before we go today, I want to give a shout out to the Kids Kingdom Club that we have on Wednesdays. We had, what happened on Wednesday, Eden? We had a record amount of kids. Yeah, we had, a, we had eight kids in Kids Kingdom Club. So I want to shout them out. I want to say hi to our Kids Kingdom Club friends. I want to say hi to Molly, Nathan, Margaret, Blaine, Ryan, Felicity, yeah. Nolan, and of course Eden was there. And at the very end, we had two extra guests come on. William and Alex. William and Alex. Yeah, so we actually had how many kids total? We had 10. What? 10. I know. It was such a cool time. We had a lot of fun. And we... Hope that maybe this Wednesday what will happen. We will break our record of kids. We will break our record again. So I gave the kids on last Wednesday a spoiler about what we're going to be learning about at Kids Kingdom Club. Eden, you want to hit them with the spoiler? Yeah. I, the spoiler for today is the story we're reading in Kids Kingdom Club involves a big fish. Ooh, it's going to be good. Yeah. And that's all we have for today. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye.